Why is it so freaking hot? Hi, I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover. And I'm your Nova1995. <laughs> and welcome to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Free Chain of Memories. Oh boy. I ignore the Riku thing. Yep, and as, yep, and as we said last time, we're gonna keep going with proud mode. I'm gonna regret this because <laughs> I I barely know how the well I kind of know how this game works now after like when I got near the end, but I'm still really noobish on this, so this is gonna be very interesting. I still don't know how to play this properly, honestly. I'm a bit impa I'm really impatient with my cards. Yeah. I will get like, I like, I like, because like, the thing is, like, I, I know I'm not supposed to do this, but I keep spamming regular slates as my combos, because I don't, I just don't want to get broken. Right. But I get, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Yeah, because like, well, you, you'll, you'll, you guys will see, but like, this combat system is nothing like what we've seen in BBS and one. So, it's like the combat. Um, like the animations are very one, but the way it works is like nowhere near the same. Right. Well, well Sora somehow feels a bit floaty. Mm. I think this. Like is... when he, cause like he has he has a lot more distance of his jump. Mm. But it, but the thing is and but the thing is it also has more of his keyblade swing. Right. Well, what about the uh, original game on uh, GBA? I don't remember. It's been so long since I played that, but but now it's a good time to mention that this is a this is a PS2 remake of the well originally a PS2 remake of the GBA game Chain of Memories. Yeah, we may as well just cover this now. Uh, basically, whenever there's a Kingdom Hearts game that has re in it, it's a remake. Right. Um. For how for Rechain though, what happened for this one was um in Japan when Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix came out they had another version called Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Plus that came with um, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix obviously as well as this Rechain right and I can imagine like loads of people who just played 1 and then 2 would get really confused with what's going on yeah cause like there are so many important plot points in this game where it's like why is Sora like well you'll see but like at the yeah, end of, at the why end is Sora like how it's gonna be later. Yeah, because like, at the end of one, he was like running in a field of Donald and Goofy. We are continuing from there, at least. Yeah, so. But I, I think lack of sliding dog. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's there. Please. Uh, another weird thing is um, we're gonna have like different kind. Well, uh, no, I, I, no, I think I'll wait till the deck actually shows up. Yeah, we'll explain how it works when we actually get there, because right now it doesn't really mean anything. Right, but right now, just kind of telling you a, uh, a basic what happened in Kingdom Hearts One. Yeah. Get used to that. Yeah, that happens a lot in this series. Well, this game in particular. Hmm. Oh well, I mean like it. I mean like cinematic showing like what's happened before. Right. Um, I should also mention in the GBA version, I actually do show some FMVs like these. Or yes, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's uh, brilliant. Square, we love you. <laughs> Also, Bloody pay, dog for the win. Pay attention to Donald and Goofy's clothes, because they're, they're just going to change, like, just like that, for some reason. I, yeah, I still wish that you can, uh, have these outfits. I heard someone, what? like, want to want see, like, the, um, guard outfits for free. Well, that, that the thing, because that is another thing, because, like, I know we can customize Sora with, like, little stuff, but mm. maybe Donald and Goofy's are going to be with us the whole time. Yeah, or like maybe like have the equipment actually affect your appearance. Right. Oh hi. Psst. Are you the mysterious figure? Please no. Or where was it? Yeah, because yeah, unknown's birth by sleep. Mm. This field really goes to nowhere. I always get mixed up with unknown and mysterious figure. Well, I I think unknown is uh is is unknown birth by sleep. Uh. Yeah. Well, we always I look it up. <laughs> yeah, because we always we called it mysterious figure in that game, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it actually says it. Uh, also, another thing is gonna be weird is like um Sora's voice. Oh yeah, just like he just went through pu it's, puberty yeah, in like yeah. five seconds. <laughs> it's, it's like the voice as of. Code, recoded? Yeah, because like this game came out way later, after two. Mm, yeah. Oh, let me see. So far, 
Sorry, my friend. Cause aren't the uh, grunts in original channel memories one? Like one huh? voice. The voice clips in uh, original channel memories. Is that just? Oh the... yeah, it's it, it's reused of that. All right. I gotta say though, actually speaking of that, um, um, we're not gonna see it unfortunately, but in the GBA version of Chain of Memories, the sprites are really good. Hmm. We yeah. are. Like they're really well detailed, nicely animated. It's 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 surprising how well you can do how what you can do with GBA if you put some time into it. Mm. Also, uh, fun fact: this is also the Osaka team's first Kingdom Hearts game. Mm. I mean, it was supposed to be BBS, but then they that game wasn't like finalized. It was like during a time where Sora was still the main character or something. Unknown is Kingdom Hearts One. Okay. We're final mix, but you get my point. But the also um the uh, the TV version obviously didn't have the vo uh, voice acting. Right. Like here, it was just text boxes. But th I do also remember like reading the Chain of Memories manga. Yeah, I've only seen bits of that. Mm. Oh, also the lip singing is obviously Japanese. Yeah. <laughs> I actually did play Rechain originally on the PS2 disc. Hmm. Because um in US they sold it individually. Okay. Well, I think they, well I, I don't think it's just US. And this is I think this is like this is the game that Jiminy uh, is like has the most like has the most screen time in. Like I don't even think even Recoded has as much. No, and it's about his damn journal. Yeah. It's like I would be surprised if the writers constantly forgot he was like a a thing. So like question about Castle Oblivion, you said like yeah. we were talking about this for one, so like you said like there's like four different kinds of realms. Oh yeah. Like, yeah, the yeah. Realm, like which one is this? The realm between or something? Yeah, I was talking to Jason a few days ago, um, about the realms. So, like there's the realm of light, which is the Disney worlds. There's um the realm in between, which is basically uh worlds are uh, as, as the name suggests, between the light realm of light and darkness. I'm and done. And like this is one of them, and <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is a, this is something actually. Yeah. <laughs> Gameplay story integration. Donald yeah, can't yeah. do what he wants. So what we want him to do. Why isn't it working? Because you're not in your right clothes. <laughs> Level one, bitch. <laughs> I forgot what you said in 0.2, like, happens all the time. <laughs> oh, um, in the manga, um, when he's like, you forgot every ability and so you ever learn, and Sora goes, you mean, does that mean, and he's shouting, if I try to do a dodge, will it just be a regular roll? <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, our mysterious man here is just like, uh, that's not how it works. Wait, wh where is this? It's in the manga, it's the Chin Memories manga. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's amazing. Like, them actually saying abilities in the game. Like they just say dodge roll? Yeah. <laughs> and thus he got Marluxia's heart, wait. <laughs> Jeez. So, spoiler, sorry. But whatever, we're probably gonna be a bit brain dead or for this playthrough actually. Yeah, there's a reason why I wanted to do this after E3. Yeah, we need topics. Because uh, this game can be a bit luck-based in terms of progression. Uh, luck, yeah, this game can be luck-based, it's also, like, it can drag. So I, I don't think we're going to do, like, more than two worlds per session. Right. Well, depending on how long it goes. So we're also waiting for our friends so we can do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, but you know, like, cause right now it's gonna be a tutorial world. But should we count this as part of our part of the session? Um, how long is Travis Town? 
Uh, well, it's gonna have. Well, it's gonna be a bit. Well, it's gonna be a bit more. We had to stop a couple times for cutscenes and such, and plus we're low leveled. Right. I think you um, actually you do get actual fights at, uh, later on. Right. And I don't think the game lets you leave. Don't think so. Yep. Basically, how this game works is that you use cards to activate like new worlds and stuff, and you get like four or five every time, except when it's something scripted like this. You get a little fancy animation. Select the world. Yeah, it's forcing me to go in, I can't ex exit. Game and back out. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna up this volume real quick. For the game? Yeah. Oh wow, that's way too quiet. Uh, okay, then we're going in trouble. <laughs> Alright, that should be fine. Alright then. Yeah, it's fine now. This can't be right. We're in Traverse Town. So, does that mean you're fake? Yeah. Does this mean I'm fake? Fake who? <laughs> Is Jiminy fake? No. Get him a bat sword. We lost all in Goofy. But you're oh, no, fine. Goofy. But you're fine. Oh no, Goofy. I know a guy that breaks the game. <laughs> that was two LPs ago. What did you do with them? There's a lot of text actually. Yeah, though. Yeah. We're not gonna see. I don't. I think the only times the, the cutscenes are fully animated is actually back in the castle itself. Yeah. Okay, now I think we're getting, gonna see what the actual combat systems are like, yeah. Yep. The laws of this castle require your friends to be transferred in the cards. If you value your friends, you won't fail to pick them up. You sure we have to pick up Donald? Yeah, cause like... Donald is basically, he randomly selects what he's gonna do, so we'll either do Fire, Blizzard, Thunder, or Cure You, and it's completely he <laughs> random. Yeah, he can he can cast fire. He can, he, and if you uh, he could cast fire on Hades. Yeah. But that would have been of an okay combo, basically. Yeah, that would have been good. But it's, you don't uh, rely on him. Yeah. It's like the only... Yeah. And he's right here, by the way. Everything is ruled by the cards. Yep. Everything. Except for Dodge Roll, though. No, you can do that all you want. And jumping and moving around. Yeah. But if you had to use cards to move, the, this game would be just yeah. why. What is it? Isn't that be basically Metal Gear Solid uh, or Metal Gear Acid? Yeah. Just lock on. Yeah. R two. Oh yeah, it's weird with Lock-On being R2, actually. Hmm, yeah, isn't it usually R1? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. have to get I think, uh, although, yeah. actually sometimes it's, it's suggested that you don't get a Lock-On on. Hmm, yeah. yeah. Well, it depends on your, depends on your, ta on your target. Yeah, and no, when you don't have any cards, you have to do this. Without them, no power. Yep. And there is this. <laughs> Doesn't uh? I know I'm getting ahead of myself, but because it, there's cause we saw well, we saw Riku on the title already. Yeah. But um, doesn't Riku like load instantly? Yeah, he loads instantly. But there's a cache to him that we'll get to later. Yeah. You must choose the affected cards. Yeah. So this is how you cycle through. What does L2 do actually? L2. Not right now. It's like. Yeah. I mean, we're locked in a tutorial, so. At least this guy is teaching us. Mad attack cards, magic cards, iron cards, enemy cards. Yeah, I never understood like the uh, enemy card things. What do they do? You mean? Yeah. Oh, they oh they give you buffs. Hmm. Um, there's some 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 of them are really good. Like um, I forget which one it is, but one of them basically um, uh, can't aim makes it so you you don't have to worry about reloads. Oh, Reload nice. timing. Nice. But some of them also have like secondary effects, like the uh, 
spoiler alert, Axel card that we're going to get much later will also um, make you um, like resist fire, but weaken my ice. Mm. Also, look, we're back in our Kingdom Hearts 1 attire. Yep, just close. You had doesn't help. What? Me too, Goofy. Don't know what I Amora. say. <laughs> I mean, have you seen these zippers? Yeah, seriously. Especially with, like, P. Zipper ass. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's sort of go alone. And, um. Uh. Sure. Well, he was a lot better than we thought. When than we thought he would be in one, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah actually, yeah, you're right. He he helped us quite a bit. Mm. I think he saved our asses a couple times. Yeah. Oh yeah, I think we were actually about to die to um unknown, and I think he cured us. Hmm. Oh, I know. I know we had to use the Tinker Bell up. Yeah. And How hard are it gonna be to figure out these cards? Well, we're gonna have to find out. Um. Well, it, it, it actually. It, well, it, it's it is complicated. Once you understand it, then it becomes all something else. Yeah. Well, it, it started. The game started to become uh, decently fun once I got what was going on. Yeah, I think the best way to say it, this is a game that gets better on a second playthrough. Yeah. In, t in terms of the gameplay, anyways. Yeah, because I, like, we're both I sleep and one. Like I learn new things the second time, but like this game is something where it's like it's gonna take a while to come to terms with like what's going on here. Right, especially with the combat. Yeah, but yeah, like the uh, main areas, so you don't have to worry about losing cards. You can whack objects to get like um, orbs and stuff, which we'll talk about later, and some extra cards. So, pro tip though, when a card comes out, make sure the card the game officially recognizes you picked up the card. Yeah. Otherwise, it's not gonna count. And then there's heartless encounters. Yep. So basically, I missed. It, yeah, if you strike them first, they'll be dizzy when you start the battle. I think they'll take a little bit of damage too. Mm. And the music's different uh, from the. Um, from Final Mix, is it the same as the original, like vanilla one? Yeah, yeah. This is this is the flat out vanilla. This is the flat out rechain main soundtrack. Right. Although one thing I will say, oh yeah, they're gonna explain more about what's going on with the cards here in a bit. Yeah. Good job, Donald. You got one of them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, potion right there re restores your deck. Yeah, potions are gonna be really important. Just, just items in general. Oh. What's the mouse go away? Open door. Now here's one of the other things. Oh, but in the room, each room is each room actually you can technically create your own. Yeah, basically. Or rather, you create with your face. Of you. Yeah, we can't really do uh, do our unique thing right now because we're set to a specific thing. But um, later on, we'll be able to like get bu a bunch of like um, room cards where. Depending on what we use to open a door, it will send us to different environments. And different obstacles yeah. within them. Yeah, so like there's one where it's looming shadows or something, where it's gonna be completely dark and nothing but shadows of her. Oh. But yeah, just make sure you go around and destroy everything in the room so you get as much stuff as possible. I think the looming darkness can also have, uh... Like, well, I think I think it's basically artificial heartless. I think it's only a regular heartless, though. Right. Oh, we have to use moments for food, right? Yeah, yeah, just because it's trying to get us to a it's trying to teach us about save points, I think, next. Right. Um, yeah, to open a door, you have to have a equal or better value. Yep. Uh, zero, um, and zero also works. Yeah, zero is an interesting thing. Wild it's like, card. Yeah. <laughs> the, the green orbs are HP, the, and the red ones are, are Moogle points. We'll get into that later. Yeah. We can't really do anything about that now, but just make sure you get as much stuff as you can here. Yeah. Right. You also may have noticed during the fight um, with the number cards, um, yeah. with the numbers on the cards. I know we're going to get to that later, but basically, um, if you're if you it's if you launch if you um, an enemy, every attack will have a will have a numerical value. Right. 
Um, if your if your number is higher, it, like say you're a, a shadow with attack with a two, mm -hmm. if Sora used a two or higher, no, if Sora used a three or higher, then it would uh allow you. Then you'll basically you'll cancel their attack entirely. Yeah. And then you'll uh and then you'll continue. I think if they're equal, they both in both attacks stop. Yeah, I think so. And uh, zero basically cancels like like one to nine, but like it'll cancel anything, but it can be cancelled by anything. Yeah, like basically if you if you use it, it can be can you can cancel things, but like af after that, you you can be cancelled out. If you want to save those usually for slate breaking, right? Which is what we'll get into um later. Right. Yeah, we don't there's... have any slates right now. We're getting up basic attacks. Well, there's slates, and then there's a different. Well, there's there's um like there's like a natural slates, and then there's a different kind. And then there's just using cards regularly as a slate. Also, I'm just gonna say this now, just because we got um like no undefeated achievement in one. Don't expect that here, because yeah, this game is hard. Th that's not gonna happen. <laughs> this game is really hard. A lot, of, yeah. a bit of trial and error. Oh, uh, what you're doing right there was just getting your reload ready, right? Yes, I saw uh, Till Game Master do that, and it right. seems like an uh, cool little strategy. Alright. So, goofy here is actually useful. Yeah, he basically, yeah, he does his tornado. The more goofy cards you get, the more, the stronger that is. The longer it'll last, the more damage it does. Yeah, and he basically follows where you're going. Well, he'll, yeah, he'll stay, he'll stay around Sora the whole time. Yeah. And a cool little thing is, when you beat a like a round of enemies, all the cards and ex experience points go like magnets towards you. Are we gonna fight everything we see? Um, at, well, right now, yeah. But may, like, we'll probably like uh, late, later on we'll, we might uh, skip through some stuff. And we sort of leveled up, but the level up won't really happen until the fight's over. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, if you um, if if you go towards the in the long ends of the uh, arenas, you can run away. Right. Okay. Okay. Besides, the, rec yeah. the recover wasn't needed, but thanks, Donald. Yeah. You really want to be careful because the enemies yeah. can really home on you once they start attacking. Yeah, and we're really low level. At least, to the, at least only one can attack at a time. Yeah. So you're not gonna get barraged. Yeah, but like, people will complain about um, like how some of the the Kingdom Hearts games can be button button mash heavy. Um, when you play this game, if you try doing that, you're gonna die. <laughs> I'm just gonna say straight out. Yeah. Um, the enemy. Oh, by the way, um, if you play, oh yeah. When you level up, you can get either HP, car, in, in, um, CP, which is the boosted card in deck in its capacity, or a slate. Right. Slates is explaining here. It explains there, but they're not gonna get into more detail until later. Yeah. Um, a deck can only a deck can and can only have a certain amount based off the the cards put into it. Right. Um, there are other kinds of there's another kind of card later on called premium cards that are have a gold in that all cost the same amount. Mm. But there's a cash to them, like the, um, which is, um, but I don't think the game explains it. Oh yeah, if you, a slate like this. Oh, well, oh, you'll be you... missed there. But um, well, he, well, cause the sh I, think, I think the pick, I think the shadow was on the ground. No, I didn't. I didn't know uh, I could do Goofy Smash. Yeah, uh, now I thought you had to unlock that. Uh. Also, look how s small our health is to start. Oh, I don't know already. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say, look how small our health is. Yeah, um... I think I, it's smaller, actually. I think it is actually that small. I think it actually is that thing's a proud mode. Hmm. Okay, so, um, I think what we're gonna do, like, for the first half of the game, go, um, health, health card, health, health card, and then when a slate comes up, we'll change, we'll use that, and then at a certain point, we'll, like, swap. Dude, card, card, health, card, card, health. Yeah, because at the moment, I'm like taking a lot more damage than I'd like. Yeah, and this is, and just like pretty much every other game that is going to be happening in the Kingdom Hearts uh, series on the channel, Harry has not played Proud Mode yet before. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, what we're going to do? Let's see. Uh, Where's the. Uh, do we not have that Shadow card? 
Um, well, that this is all attack cards. I'm gonna reset everything. We're just gonna make. Yeah, we're gonna. All right. Oh yeah, I think it's over there. If you. Uh, yeah. Maybe, 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 maybe that card was just there to demonstrate. Um, enemy cards are very rare drops that that um, the heartless can drop as you defeat them. Right. Um. It. They have a unique ability, as I mentioned. I don't remember what the shadow does. Hmm. Um, just in case we don't get one, here, I'll look it up. Alright. Let's see. Shadow. Enemy card. Yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna be, uh, changing your deck a lot. Make yeah, sure. uh, uh, um, as as Harry was saying before about about getting the undefeated stuff, um, it, that's that's important. There's a lot of um, you know, learn from your mistakes here. If if it doesn't work the first time, just mess with your deck a bit. Maybe you'll figure it out now, then. Yeah, if we get undefeated, I'll be very surprised, but don't expect that. Right. <laughs> Sh Shadow Heartless increases the value of all cards by one. Okay. It'll last I mean, for two times, for two reloads of your deck. This is the slate here, a sliding dash. The, the trick with slate, the thing about slates though is um, the first card you use in the slate is gone. Yeah, so it's not something you want to really um, spam early game. Premiums are a good idea to use for these then. Yeah. If you're gonna, if you're not gonna, if you're gonna, you know, do that. Yeah. Because you know you're gonna lose them anyways. Right. Um, a good idea though, maybe at times, is to use spring cards because yep. um, spring, because spring cards don't matter in terms of the deck because they just show up. Yeah, we aren't gonna get like t like crazy moves yet because we sliding dash was just a normal ability in one. Uh, we saw, so we saw, I mean, just, I mean, just in case we don't get the, uh, but in the heart, in the car, in the enemy cards, I'm just gonna read off every enemy card as we find them. Yeah. As we find the new enemies. Alright. Yeah. The soldier. Add an extra hit to normal combos. We saw, we saw the soldier earlier. We have red, red nocturnes. Increases the strength of fire based abilities. Mm. The blue rhapsody. It adds, adds extra strength to, um, ice based abilities. Oh, right, also, if we press, uh, select, uh, we get it'll, it'll give us a map. Yep. Sounds pretty cool. At least it'll also tell us what room cards we've used. Yeah. There's the thing about this game, too, is that there are some unique heartless, like, only the this mm. game. Right. Or, or, or at least debuted in this game. Uh... Up. Yeah, there's a little bit of strategy to what cards you want to use as well. Okay, um, I think, okay, I know which one. Um, one of the best boss cards is Jafar. Oh, right, right. Uh, I think um, I, I think I used that, but I didn't know what it did. Stop, is he Jafar card. Stops enemies from breaking attack cards you use for 20 attacks. Okay. He's definitely going in the deck. <laughs> Cause that'll be really useful for bosses. Mm. See, hate, see, Hades. Boost the power of cards when critical. Like yuck. Pluto. There you. There you are. He's just Pluto? He just kind of vanished. Oh yeah, each of the uh, they, they do say on here like, uh, wait, what? The, yeah, they also do say what the uh, abilities are like. Cause like it, there's a description of what to do, and then it says what they do. Right. Um, like shadow is incrementer, which it, which it, all right. Yeah. Uh, soldier is combo plus. Fire boost and 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 blizzard boost for red not and blue wrap study respectively. So oh yeah, another another thing to point out actually is um um remember in. The, the heartless designs actually are the colors rather are gonna be from the original Kingdom Hearts one. Yeah, which is kind of cool. Yeah, so at least you always have an idea of what they were since you I know you've only played Final Mix for one. Yeah. Hi, Leon. Yeah. 
who are you? And how do you know my name? <laughs> hey, I like the Madden story. I just started. Exclamation point! <laughs> Who's just sitting here? Yeah, I just like, hi. It's alright. Exclamation mark! Question mark! Question mark? You do know his name. Now, now, hold on. Why do I know your name? Cleo, you play Kingdom Hearts One. Hmm. You think Leon's just kidding around? <laughs> <laughs> I has a headache. Hi, Pluto. <laughs> Are you gonna slide later? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Yuffie. That, that he should be a summon in free or something, and that's his move. Headache? No, like uh, Pluto just sliding. <laughs> if, you know, it, you know what it'd be like. Um, what, what was that? What was that damn mod? Um. Mm. Uh, no, it, it'd, be, it'd be like it'd be like the professor sled and the assistant sled and knuckles unleashed. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bob sled unleashed. <laughs> Little stranger, but I know his name. Strange but convenient. <laughs> yeah. Here's where we're gonna learn something. Re and one of the really important things about is the slates. Yep. Well, I've Remember shown this them. really well. Mm. Really well. Loading. Okay, I was gonna say, what's going on? <laughs> See my number? Yeah, now it's talking about the numbers. Oh yeah, but higher the number is also more damage. Yeah. Alright, God wins. I'll try it. I don't know why he has Keyblade cards. <laughs> See, he's just front. And if, yeah, the AI usually likes to try throwing cards at you. Yeah. See how it works? Playing a card higher than your opponent's being, and breaking for the defense is called a card break. Low cards mean your attack is being deflected. Yep. Even powerful cards can be deflected if the cards and enemy cards higher. Whoever's on the loose inside the break is left open. Wide open. Yep. You'll especially notice it with Sora. Sora cards with zero are special. No matter what they play, you can break it. But if you play a zero, yeah, but like I said, it can be broken easily, but it can, but it'll break anything. Yeah. So then you want to make it, like, like I said before, you also want to use it for slates. Yeah. Card value is also effective for the deck. You don't have to use cards by one at a time. Yeah, we've already done this, so. I'm not sure if, they're, if their totals combined for the attacks. Mm. Like, if you use 777, seven, would that be 21 power overall? I f maybe? Let's see, let's start to see. The value is usually high and hard to break, and the combo is. I think, I think, the co I think it's going on the combo itself. Yeah. Like, right, in one we actually fall, Leon, this is like. not really the same thing, but. Slate. Slate's coming in all varieties. Card combination. You should try them out once you collect the more cards on a slate too. Yep. But keep one thing in mind: every time you use it, the first card you pick is is gone. Yep. Oh look. There are there are ways. To, yeah, like yeah, relying on your slates is asking for trouble. Yeah. You really want to play this game patiently. Like study, study, like know what your opponent's gonna do, and just and, and, and anticipate. Yeah, and like Leon having the cards on his side, like that's a thing for bosses in general. So you're gonna have to look what they're doing. Well, bosses who are who fight kind of like, it, it, well, not like oh, heartless don't. Yeah, heartless don't. But like Disney characters or characters like Leon here will use will have their own decks. Yeah, like I, yeah. And then we have Simba, and the Kid Guidance. Summon is our first example of a summon card. Yep. 
And we don't need, we don't even need the uh, uh crap, what was the gem called? Uh what? Uh, Shine, I think it was called. Uh <laughs> I don't remember what that car oh no 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 wait gone. go over the limit. Yeah, um Um, you can, the cards, Wait. each one is different based on the, uh, look, it, the power of the card and the, uh, sorry, and what card it is itself, in, in of itself. Yeah. Like, I'm not getting very stuff. detailed already, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Although it's worrying, because we might not have a lot to say later. Yeah. Well, we had to explain with the game right now. Yeah. So, it's the, fir the first world is always the best time to do this. I am causing more effect, too. Nah, I don't use up. If you have friends. If you don't, you're lonely. <laughs> and like we said, zero cards will automatically open the doors unless they say otherwise. Yeah. Usually the only times that will happen is if it's a numeric value or if it's a, uh... Or if it says equal. Right. Which means you have to use exactly that card number. Good going, Sora. Hmm. <laughs> I should've died. Oh, we go. Careful. Get it? And, yeah. yeah. Ooh, four, nice. Yeah. Dang it. Yeah, you, you. The thing is, the moment they touch you is when the fight starts. Yeah. So you want to keep a, d a decent distance away, but when you start. Right. When you start your swing. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wait, wait, let's stop Goofy. Yeah. Okay, let's just see what happens. Are there any sixes out here? I don't think you can be interrupted in big. I, I, can you be interrupted in big combo? Um. I mean, like, like can the attacker attack back. It, during like a. Like, 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 say, like, if you were hitting the blue rhapsody here, but it could throw out the cards. Um. Well, bosses probably. I'm not sure. Uh, Simba's attack is um a straight. Anything yeah. right directly in front of him is gonna get blasted. Yeah. Although the problem with it is there's the wet, there's a bit of a startup. Yeah, and I if the uh, enemies aren't in front of him, it's not going to really do much. The next thing we're going to do is a cart. It's a cart in the deck. Yep. Google points. Google yeah. points. Yeah. Whatever card. Oh, oh one, one Simba. Um, you may have noticed when we got, um, sliding dash, it, like, it mentioned, it has to be, it, sometimes the slates need to be a specific number. Right. So that's why, um, you, that's why you wanna, that's why you can't just go with the high cards and expect that to solve all your problems. Right. If you wanna use these slates, which are really useful, and I don't think, I think some of them are in the original. Mm. But some are made for, are made specifically for, for, uh, for rechain. Like one, uh, one in particular is really nice. Yeah. Okay, okay that worked. Um, I, I hope we get some items. I really hope we get, oh, premium room. That's good. That's a, uh, now, now's a good time to mention the premium again. I think I've, I think I already said it, but, yeah. um, when you're loading a premium card into your deck, the cost is the same no matter what the value is. Right. However, the catch is, um, Unless it's the first, uh, uh, actually, I learned this in the SGB. Um, yeah. it, unless it's, uh, if you use it by itself, it's gonna disappear. We're good. Right. That's, so, that's the trade-off. But the cool thing is, if you use it in a slate, it won't uh, as the second or third, it won't disappear. Okay, so always use them in slates then. Right. Yeah. I think zero cards are higher valued than like the one. Hmm. Get him before he hides. That'd be yeah. annoying. Okay, there we go. Um, the thing about the item drops, though, is they're extreme. In the enemy card drops, they're really rare. Right. So we could potentially not yeah. get any grand regular drops. Hmm. Oh, let me see. Hold on, let me see what it says here on the wiki. Right. Yeah. This this is probably the most grindy game out of the series. Each heart was insane. See. From, at a random reward, drop on the last part list to be defeated. Let's see. Enemy cards are available on both source and reverse birth. Courage. 
I don't know if anything if any if they had their own oh, individual nice. drop. Wow. Yeah, that was good. I don't know if they had their own individual drop rates. Mm. But again, just uh, just assume for now we might not get one. Yeah. Might be best for to use Simba in a corner or something, so it's like very hard for a, an enemy to like go behind you. But Simba is also an example of, an, of a time you probably don't want to have the lock on on. Yeah. Because he'll try, to, he'll he'll take like these steps to try and face them. Hmm. Which can be, which can, you, which sometimes could just mean you're missing. Okay, let's see what Donald does. Okay. Sure. Okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. Okay, Don, Donald's being generous today. Yeah. I'm being suspicious. Oh, good. We got to level up. Yep. I think every five level ups after one, and like, eight is actually a slate. Right. 